Hello, my friends. Hey, guys. So, Thursday evening. Let's bring color to our life. I hope you're all right. When you join me, hi, Michelle. Thank you for joining me. When you join me, just say hi to me and just let me know where you're watching from. Hi, Catherine. So, my name is Highlander. My name is Angela. I am the owner and creative energy from Elfen and Helden. Uh, I'm a Woody Band, Dixie Bell, Grayson Design, Iron Orchid Design, Mint by Michelle, retailer over here in Frankfurt, in Germany. I also um, have the distribution for Dixie Bell paints for Germany and for Grace on Design decoupage papers for the whole of Europe. So um, tonight we're going to work with the decoupage paper by Grace on Design. And uh, if you want to shop those products, um, you can pop over to my page. I do have also a list of the European retailers for Grace on Design on my page. So if you want to check for your local retailer, you can do that there. And obviously you can buy them also from me, but um, you have all the possibilities. Thank you so much for joining me, my friends. So I hope you're all right. I am a little tired today. Um, I've had my second vaccination so I'm, I'm pretty happy. So um, another two weeks and I'm like, I've got like the full, full cover, so to say. But uh, that's the reason I'm a little tired and my arm is a little limp. So, um, okay, guys, I'm going to bring you a little closer. Um, this is, this was just like one of those um, white, oops, drop it, flower pots. Uh, it's very heavy. You can see in the inside the white. Um, this was just like one of those white, very shiny pieces. And what we've done the last time, we have, you can see the structure we've built up there. We've used sea spray by Dixie Bell, and I've mixed that in the Dixie Bell color terracotta, which is this color, which is exactly like terracotta, Heimannhase. And um, the nice thing about the, this is a texture additive, this, this sea spray, what I use. And the nice thing is you can mix it to any color. And uh, you're not changing, as you can see, the color is exactly, is exactly, said exactly the same, even with that uh, texture additive. So this is, this is a great benefit. And uh, now we're going, today we're going to apply the uh, decoupage. So I didn't want to rush it the last time, so we only applied those things. I've brought my um, I've brought my scarlet brush to use for the to apply my top coat and the the, the um, what makes the difference between the Grace on Design decoupage paper with other decoupage papers all the way around. Um, I mean, they're all uh, great. They all have like their benefits. And the benefit of the Grace on Design decoupage papers is that they come in a tube. So if you're in the US, the tubes are a little, they're a little thicker uh, over here for to send overseas. They are packaged in the smaller tubes so you can get uh, more in one box. And therefore, um, when they are rolled, obviously um, you don't have any crease marks which is great oh <laughs> didn't you clean it properly so they come rolled and with each um with each motif you have they come in uh, the main motif comes in two sizes which is The bigger size is even bigger than A1. Most of the decoupage papers, they only come in A1 if you want to have um, if you want to have it for a dresser or something like that. But you see the back here is just like a protective sheet. So this is, um, I'm just going to put that away. So, but the, 
the bigger part is let's see that here the bigger part is even bigger than a one so if you have a big dresser or something like that you can put that nicely under all oh, my arm i'm sorry <laughs> that's a bit uh that's a bit limp yes you can marlene yes you can yeah mm -hmm. We don't, we don't have a, a retailer. Where are you? Are you in France? Because we don't have a retailer in France yet. So uh, we're still looking for somebody to, to sell them there. So if you know somebody, just let them know that they can grab them as a retailer also from me. So, but you can buy them from, from me. So they come in a, in a bigger sheet. And the paper is... Uh, is decoupage paper. You have rice papers and you have decoupage papers in different qualities. You have silk papers. So they are pretty um, um, strong papers. So, and then the same motif also comes in a smaller size. So in Belgium, Okay, yeah, but in Belgium, we don't have anybody either. So you, I can ship there, there also. So. Mm. so, and it comes in a smaller sheet. And you have like uh, some additional, like a matching pattern, which is with this one are those signs. Aren't they gorgeous? I may even, hi Nina. Hmm. Yeah, I know, Michelle. So the first time mine did also, the vaccination itself today wasn't too bad. It was really bad the last time. So that I was like mm, squeaking, which is unusual for me. So I'm going to cut that because I'm going to use that, uh, that truck part on here. I'm going to see how that layers around. So I'm going to, let's see. You can cut it. I'm going to rip it for now this is going to be blended in at the end anyway so the thing is when you rip it and you put paint on it afterwards it's you don't have like this like a step you don't have like a step on your project you can use some water that works also with this if you make it wet you can rip it like that or you just rip it like i'm doing at the moment so so put this to the side even this would look uh, very pretty on that um on that flower pot so usually when I do decoupaging, I like to have a light color underneath. Um, but this time, because I'm going to distress it a little bit, this, I want it to wrinkle a little. Yeah, I can see. I'm going to use some of the, the other bits also. So this is not going to go all the way around. This is pretty, pretty big. Let's see. This is pretty big. Okay, but that's perfect. So we're going to use some of the other bits also. But let's start with this here. I'm going to make my cradle first. I'm going to show you how when I work this round, um, this bottles or something like that. Let's see how that works on here. I'm making myself a cradle usually. That should work with that big pot also. I use a towel. I roll it up. I roll it up. Yeah, you get the mosquito. I don't want to have. I don't want to have any more bites. And a second one. And then I'm going to lower you down so you can see what we are doing. So, if you want to, oh hello Ute. If you want to, you can also sprinkle this video. This is a very heavy pot. So, and then I'm going to just 
protect the towels on the sides of that pot so it doesn't roll away anymore. So let's see. I think this is just about fine that you can see. Instagram, can you see? I can't. Um... Oops. Okay. There's like this Instagram, there's just like this, um, the writing in the way, but I think you can see. There you go. Fine. So for applying the top coat, you can use a top coat medium. Mm. Oh God. <laughs> I think everybody's got a story to tell about the, their vaccinations, don't they? So even so, I'm happy I've got it. So okay. I'm using I'm using the top coat satin by Dixie Bell. This is my favorite medium to apply uh, decoupage. As I said, you can use some decoupage cream or something like that. Uh, I you know I like to use what I've got on hand and I'm not uh, grabbing all different products for all things so this is the nice thing about the dixie bar products they um you can use them for a lot of things so let's see i don't mind if you have wrinkles this goes perfect with the the look i'm going for so this is going to be the rustic crusty look at the end Where's my baby wax? So somebody, can somebody remind me, I've got to get some, some baby wipes. This is my last package and I can see myself running out and forgetting to, to buy some more. So please, somebody send me a reminder, baby wipes. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, hmm. So. AstraZeneca, yeah, AstraZeneca is having a long um, break in between. So I was lucky I've got BioNTech. So uh, um, I was lucky to slip in there. So now I'm just applying the um, top coat. And then I'm going to apply the paper. And with the BioNTech, you only need three weeks in between. So um, they used to stretch it to um, get more people vaccinated, which was very good. And I was lucky um, to get it from my doctors. And as I said, they, the first shot was about three weeks ago. And... The second shot was this morning, early this morning. So my arm is a little limp. And she said, uh, you have a rest today. And I'm like, of course I am. Of course I'm having rest. <clears throat> However, this is not hard work I'm doing at the moment. I am just might be a little, <laughs> yeah. Baby wives, baby wives. They actually remind me tomorrow or something like that. that I'm not sure if it's live. So I should just set it to the side. And I'm going to grab another scarlet brush now. Lay my hand on it. Nice thing about the scarlet brushes, they the bristles are a little firmer. So this is um um This is exactly what I want to have, Marlene. This is the reason I've put it there. This is about supposed to be a pretty rough and rustic product, uh, project, product, project. So this is the reason I've chosen it that way. If it's, um, if it is crinkling and cracking, that's perfectly, perfectly fine. I'm going to wrap it around the edges also so this is why i'm grabbing my scarlet brush now because i'm going to rub that right on here you could use also you could use um let's see you could use i need more top coat 
investment already. It's so um, it's already dried. I need more top coat. I need more top coat. So because I want to layer it on there and I want to distress it afterwards. So I need more top coat to saturate that paper a little more. So usually I would, wouldn't use that much, but it is drying quickly also. So let's see. Start again. Using my hands for now to just right rub it on there. And the paper is pretty strong. You know, that's the reason you can do that. I'm really rubbing it on here now to make sure it gets contact. If there are some more wrinkles, that's no problem. That just goes perfect with that look. That's what we are doing. You can, Michelle, you can wet the paper also. But uh, as I'm working in sections, I don't want it to be, um, I don't want it to, I can, I personally feel I can manage it better when I work in sections, because I first want to make sure I've got it adhered on here. You can see the structure through the paper now. And as it is pretty warm over here and the top coat dries, if I already have it on here and it dries, the paper won't be as manageable anymore. So because when you wet the paper, you make it, uh, you weaken it which is fine, but for the look I'm going for, I first want to make sure I've got it nicely on here. So get the bubbles out, which might be underneath. So there we go. Just gonna bring that up so you can see. And you can see the structure. Can you see the structure through it? That's the structure. And we're going to distress that later on also. So. Go. There's enough top coat on here. As I said, a good idea, Michelle. I like to do it that way. Touch that. Go around the edge also. And there's going to be paint over it at the end also. And the reason I've used the terracotta underneath when I sand it to get like the some of the um, bottom color through. I don't want to have it white. I want to have I want to have it um, the terracotta coming through so it looks like there's the flower pot underneath. So let's see. I'm going to get that paper around the edge here also. Just layer that on the bottom. So for decoupaging, there is loads of ways. You can also, I can't remember who's done that, who's done a video about it. I've watched that today. You can spray the decoupage paper also with water. The back of the decoupage paper, sorry, the back of the, uh, the decoupage paper with water. So you can, um, so you can,
layer that almost without any wrinkles. When you use the wet method, what I'm doing at the moment, um, you may, you know, you usually get some wrinkles. You can get them pretty much out with the race on design papers. By, oops, what's that? By, oops, wrong brush. Go from here, a little bit around the edge here. Go, just laying it around. I'm gonna stand it up that you can see a little better. I'm just getting it right around the edges here. And there's going to be some paint over it. So usually I wouldn't use that much top coat with the Grace on Design papers to not um, stress them too much. But for this look, it's perfectly fine. I want to get it on here. So, there we go. Now, oops, do the rest. Let's see if that's enough. Just get it on here. So, and I can tell you, every other paper, unless it's, um, there are some papers, Mint by Michelle is pretty strong also. The new papers by um, Posh Chalk, they are brilliant also. They are rice papers, they're different from the structure. Um, you can do a lot of things with them. And this is, I mean, this is stressing the paper at the moment, what I am doing here. You can relayer that. I'm going to cut that a little because this is, uh, as this is like round and shapey, obviously the paper is not stretchy. So I'm just cutting it a little bit to layer it eventually. I'll stretch it out. You can see as this is getting wider on top here, there might be a little gap now, which I can fill this, oops, with some paint later. I just want to get it nicely on here for now. So, yeah, it's already dried again underneath. Get some more on here. Obviously, when you have um, when you have the sea spray underneath, the applying is a little trickier. But you can do it. And as this is the look I have envisioned for this project, I'm doing it. And you can do that nicely with this paper. You can see that. Every other paper would have already completely ripped. But this one is just going to be fine. So the top coat is shining. Um, it's looking a little milky, but it is drying. It is drying clear at the end. So that's the state we are at now. So you can see nicely the structure underneath. That's nice and I'll bring that closer to you so you can see. You see this? Oh, and this already looks to totally cute, I think. So, mm. oh well, but he's young, you know, I mean, I'm an old cow, so the younger people, Nina, over here, they, they are not vaccinated uh, by now either, you know, so, and I was lucky to, you know, I'm over 50, 
and even I wouldn't have been in order to get vaccinated. I was lucky to slip in there with, uh, with my doctor. So just a little more up here. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay. Nicely on. Now let's see how we fill up the the gaps around. Lay that down again. I shall grab some of the other bits. So now I need a little more space. Now I've got to put that down on the floor. Oh, I was telling my um, my German community there will be not no no you know not tomorrow or the day after tomorrow but there will be soon um, some sort of a change I will have I will be even more involved in my creative business. Oh, Michelle's the decoupage queen. That's good. So, <clears throat> while there is some, um, even, you know, some, some decoupage papers are different and some have like uh, different recommendations also. So now I'm going to use a, a damp brush to separate the, the other bits here. <clears throat> Because I don't want to have them. So I'm just watering that paper. It is pretty strong, that paper, but still, you can do it. You can rip it like that. That eventually works. So there are different papers and um, companies, and they do have also different recommendations. And then you have to take into consideration also what the temperature is like, where you are and stuff like that. So um, as this paper is pretty strong, so I would have put it this time on the back of the um, paper. It would have um, maybe, maybe it would have worked fine, but uh, the, the chance that it uh, dried and got the paper even more so you can see how nicely after I've made that wet, I can take that off. I felt shall do that with a couple of the pieces. We're going to use one down there also. So there we go. So and I'm going to keep like every little bit and bits and pieces I'm not needing at the moment, but I might need them later on. So then I have this part here. Here. That's correct. It's I'm not people. I want it this time rough and textured. <laughs> so usually, I mean, this is always what drives people crazy that um, you eventually get wrinkles and stuff like that. So, um, And I want to have this piece up here. I love that. My garage, my rules. So, um, yeah. Oops. Don't 
don't dip your brush in your coffee. That was close, guys. That was very close. So. There we go. Okay. Let's see. Put that to the side. This is enough. So I should just get like some of that white off. I don't want to have that. Don't want to have that. Even I'm going in with paint. I want to add most of the white off. So, and you can see when you do that with this paper, that the paper is stronger where you basically, where it's printed. So the inks are, you know, you can see that when I was applying the other bits, the inks are very strong also. So, strong. Oops. My coffee is standing too close. I can see myself dipping that brush in there. So, and as I said, I could cut those edges off, but you will eventually see, see those edges because they are going to build up on your project. So, you know, if you rip it, if you rip the edges off like this, you're not having that much of, an, of the edges. This is, you know, decoupage was originally with tissue paper, you know, which was like really thin. And then they basically, later on, they brought out those little thicker papers, which are easier to use. They are stronger um, because it really used to be sometimes a pain in the backside to apply that without wrinkles. So I'm just preparing those pieces now. I'm not bothering at the moment to get all the white off because I'm using some paint later also, but um, that's the plan. So, <laughs> it would. Actually, Michelle, you can do that if you want to have, um, you can, you can basically make your own uh, you can make your own decoupage paper. Uh, I've done that also. You can use, well, you can use some brown paint and water that right down to age it, but you can actually, you can use coffee. That works. That's uh, natural patina, I would say. That's natural patina. So you can apply the whole thing like this and, you know, paint the edges there, but I don't want to, I don't, you know, I'm going to apply that irregular. What's the time? Oh, I mean, time always flies, doesn't it? Time always flies. Oops, rip the edge. So let's get going. I want to get that on there now. Mess. Last bit. Get the main, main white bits off, and then we just apply that. Let's see. So it's a pretty big flower pot, so there's going 
going to be and this those bits here they are basically the companion papers you know this is like the matching pattern for this one every um every paper every motif had its has its own um companion paper also so okay there we go it's there just in close it's there get the flower pot up and get going ah. This right there. So the small paid bits of papers like this, this is no problem. You can put the um, um, the top coat on the back also. As you're going to lay that on there in one piece. This is what Michelle meant. You know, you just um, apply it on the back. But the thing is, as soon you put the um, the top coat or your medium on the back, you're starting to weaken your paper, which is okay with the smaller bits. Put it the right way around, that helps. But if you have bigger bits at the end, it might get a little tricky. So. go that's now pretty easy I love this this is you know I love you know working with paints in my hands and um, pottery class oh I'm not into pottery that's something I don't know I, when I was a kid, I actually had like one of those pottery kits and um, that wasn't really my world. I don't know. So, this just overlap a little bit. So, and as this is pretty te textured, I'm going to apply it on here generously. I usually wouldn't work with, uh, especially with the brace on design papers. As I said, it's like all papers are different. And with those small bits, I can use it on the back. Oops. Which helps if you can lay that down. I'm working free, free-handed again. So. And if you have um, bigger sheets, like those big sheets by Grace on Design, it makes it pretty, not very nice to handle. So, obviously with this shape of this pot, it's much easier to go from here. So I'm going right in a circular motion because I want to make sure it goes into those crevices of the sea spray underneath the structure and rubbing the I'm rubbing the if there is any bubbles underneath I'm rubbing them basically out. What do you think? That already looks quite cute, doesn't it? So. Almost finished. A little more. Some more there. Let's see. Another one. 
I'm actually having my garage, my rules twice. Let's see if there's another. Mm. Yeah, I want to have something just like that. So I'm just getting some more water. I'm working free handed here now, guys. This one or that one? The gas or the battery? What do you want to have on there? The gas or the battery? Just let me know. Which is the last one we put on there? Mm, right, um, right. Just say this is the gas and this is the battery. Just say gas, okay? Gas, 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 okay. Thank you. <laughs> because sometimes, I don't know if you're seeing it mirrored or not mirrored, we'll take the gas. Gas, gas. Oh, hi, Amber. So. Oh, my arm's getting limp. It's getting a little white a little off. Same thing. You can see that it almost pulls off right at the edge of that um, of the paint. This is how strong the that ink from the printing makes that paper. Which is pretty amazing, I think. Just a tiny little more water, and then we're good to go. On there. Oops. So let's decide which way around. This go this way around, just to fill that gap. So motor coat. As I said, I usually wouldn't put as much down. This is because there is like this um, structure. So. And this is again this way. Just gonna go like this. This. So again, going with my fingers in a circular motion to massage basically the bubbles out. And make sure it gets good contact, as good as it can get with the, the structure underneath. So, that's where we are at now. Damage that a little bit on this side. Squeaky table, 
squeaky, squeaky tail off. So I'm going to let that dry. It's time now anyway. This is going to dry and then um, you can blend those things in. Now that's the state we are at the moment. What do you think? That's our grandpa's truck. This pretty nicely. You can see nicely the um, that sea spray underneath. And the rest we're going to blend in with some paint. Oh, this is so heavy, this guy. <laughs> Oh, Glenda, this table I am working at, you won't believe how old that is. I mean, I'm an old cow. This, this table I had, um, I had in my first own apartment. So this is ages ago. This is, I don't know, it feels half a century ago. So that, that's also a reason I'm an upcycler. You know, I hate throwing things. So... really like that i really like that so this is gonna dry i'm not going to send it now so I'll, i'm going to send that we do that next week mm. michelle you do that you do that so again let's have a look around let's have a look around i love it I'm happy to the state here. I hope you like it too, guys. Uh, this out of the way. I want to sit right there, grab my coffee. I've just got to clean my fingers, guys. I look a complete mess again. Oh, I look a complete mess again. I'm not quite sure on Instagram. Am I actually live or not live? It says live. I can't see anybody on Instagram. Still have the message that they are going to tell them that I'm live. But uh, lately, it's playing tricks anyway with me. That's new. That's nothing new. That's nothing new. <laughs> Coffee. I'm knackered, guys. I'm knackered. Oh, ouch. Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, thank you, Jill. Oh, guys. Thank you, Amber. <laughs> Amber had a German um, grandma, I just learned. So um, you've got to tell me where she was from, please. Uh, oops, I tried it just recently with the reel afterwards. I found I can hurt not, oh, damn it, too. I'm not messing with the reel. Mm. Nina, but at school, Angela, didn't you have a choice at what you wanted to learn? What oh, you mean this pottery? Um. We didn't have that. Uh, we didn't have that at school. Um, what did we have at school? Let me think. We had um, houseworks. You could you could choose between. This was mostly you know the girls choose chosen like houseworks where you learned like knitting and um, sewing and stuff like that. And then they had like, uh, what is called Werken, you know, which was like working with like wood and stuff like that. Like, you know, tiny projects, you know, like sewing out stars and stuff like that. So um, that's that's what we had at school. Um, this, this pottery thing, that was basically the lady which lived above us in, in Frankfurt at the time. I've grown up in Frankfurt actually. And um, she was she was doing those things. So um, I thought I liked it. And uh, so I got like this little, but 
it was a, wasn't a proper one, you know, when you have like, I mean, I was a kid, those things they do for kids, you know, those turning wheels and stuff like that. But that, you know, obviously that wasn't a professional one, so it didn't work. You know, it was, it was turned with a battery. Um, so whenever you laid your hand on there to do something, you stopped it. You know, So that just didn't work. So I lost, I lost interest. So that uh, was the thing. Yeah, that was funny. So uh, I think everybody would have lost interest then. So um, I liked it when I've done it with her, you know, um, she's done great things. And she took it to, she was a teacher actually, and she took it to school and had it in, they had like those ovens and stuff like that, where you can, um, is it called, but you burn the, the, um, the clay or stuff. So that's what I've done now. Uh... Cooking, home economy, uh, Werken, genau, Kerstin. <laughs> oh, Berlin, Amber. Wow. Okay. So, no, Amber, this is the Grace on Design papers. Those are the grace on design papers. They are different to the posh chalk papers. The posh chalk papers, um, they are um, rice paper, and uh, the they are decoupage papers, but pretty strong ones. They are pretty strong ones. So um, and very beautiful. Totally different. Totally different style. Also, both beautiful. So. Um, Hallo, liebe Kerstin, wir sind eigentlich fast fertig. Dein Schränkchen, dein kleines Schränkchen da hinten ist jetzt auch fast fertig. Ich habe jetzt heute noch die Hardware, guck mal, die Seitenteile bearbeitet vorhin. Ach, guck mal, wie schön die geworden sind. Hm. <lacht> ah. My friends. Okay. Amber, actually, um, we supposed to go with our um, with our school with the class to Berlin when the wall was still up, and I was so scared. I was so scared. I'm not gonna get out there. You know, I've learned so much about history and stuff like that. You know, when they, you know pulled the wall up and uh, the people couldn't get out anymore that was that was terrifying me that was absolutely terrifying me that I can't go where I want to go so what I've done I've like I've slept in this my mom was already my mom died when I was nine years so I bet was basically um depending on my own you know my dad was already at work and he just knew I had to go <clears throat> and I was just like you know, lounging around and stuff like that to make sure I've missed the bus. I didn't want to go there. I was so scared. <laughs> so um, that's me. <laughs> so, but I was in Berlin by now. After the war went down, I was uh, 1980. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Mm, so. Oh, Knopflöcher. Ute, das glaube ich. Genauso war es gewesen. Das durften nur die Jungs, ja. Mm. Ja. Ich fand das auch ganz fürchterlich. <lacht> My friends, it was. Oh, I can't imagine that, Kerstin. So uh, I think we're all we're all much alike, you know. This is um, yeah. This is nice chatting to you guys. Um... Oh, Nina, it was. It was you you never forget it you know it's i mean it's such a long time ago it's still troubling me you know that's um so i'm i'm always saying everybody who still got their mom you've got to be very very grateful you know that's uh so anyhow that's that's sweet thank you my friends i thank you so much that you've been with me tonight um i've really enjoyed having you around it's always nice to have a bit of a chat with you also I hope you like that project. Michelle, thank you for your awesome tips for the people. Our decoupage queen, <laughs> you found her now. Um, 
if you want to shop the products, pop over to my page. You can check for the local retailer, also for the Grace on Design over here in Europe. Um, we have a couple already. Um, if you know somebody where you think in Europe should carry those papers, just let me know or let them know that they can get them as a retailer from me also. So uh, I'm wishing you now, oh, for those who don't know me, my name is Angela. I'm the owner of Creative Energy, who is behind Elfen and Helden. Um, I'm sleeping behind Elfen and Helden today. Um, I was vaccinated this morning, so I'm a little standing next to me, but um, I'm sure I will be fine tomorrow. I thank you so much for being with me, my friends. I'm wishing you a lovely weekend. And yeah. <laughs> Alexa doesn't know it. I'm wishing you a lovely weekend. You take care. You have a lovely day, afternoon, evening, wherever you are watching me from. You may distribute this post. I'll be very happy. Uh, bon nuit, Michelle. Merci beaucoup. Ah, so energy is immer good. Yeah. <laughs> Enjoy your weekend, guys. So I love to have you around. You take care. Bye, guys.